We'll guide you through how to set up DS4 Windows and use it to connect your PS4 controller to your PC. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get started. DS4 is a third party service that allows your computer to successfully recognize your PlayStation 4 controller and that might assist you when you are playing some game that doesn't support PlayStation 4 controllers. So first off, you need to open up your browser and write the following DS4 windows then press enter then you select the first link at the top you open that up then you navigate to the top right and you press the download button scroll down and you press the download button once more and now we are waiting for it to download as you can see we click the arrow in the top right that is in my browser but if you wanted to find find it from another browser you can simply just open file explorer and go into your download section now that we got here, right click and ex ex extract all first. We press extract. Okay, now that everything is finished, we go into the folder that we just extracted. We open it up. We open it up once more. And now we selected the, the DS4 Windows application. We left click and open it. You must install Net Desktop Runtime to run this application. So, would you like to download it now? You just press the yes button and it will redirect you to another page where you will need to install an extra extra application mine is already downloading i'll be back as soon as it's finished my download just finished so here is the application right here let's left click and open it we press the install button the installation was successful now that we have finished with this installation we press the close button we go back into our folder back into the ds4 windows folder and we once again left click the application we want it will ask you where you want profiles and settings to be saved other location files will be deleted so you can either choose program folder or app data i would recommend you choose program folder we press step one we have finished the download this new pop-up will show up we press the button next we select the exact the exact file path or location that we want for the thing that we're downloading we agree to the license terms and conditions then we press the next button and then we press the install button and now we have successfully finished our installation we press the finish button now we scroll down and here you can just use these optional steps whether you need them or uh, not but if you don't need this and you're finished with your download you just press the finished button start. before you press the start button uh, on the ds4 application you will need to take your cable uh, this cable is the charger for this controller or uh, it can be any cable that has a usb to micro usb port you take the usb part and plug it inside of your computer and then you take the micro usb part and you plug it at the top of your controller we go over into the application now and we press the start button now it has successfully found our controller as you can see in the bottom right, it will show up as a virtual Xbox 360 controller, but this is only for show. The application renames it as an Xbox 360 controller because a Windows PC is set up in a way that they can only recognize 360 controllers from Xbox. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.